Hi, I'm Patty Toome, a registered nurse. And I'm Andy Swanson, also a registered nurse. We're both vascular access specialists, and we're here today to discuss with you midlines. There seems to be some confusion on the different types of midlines. There's a trimmable midline and a power glide midline, so we're hoping to um, decrease that confusion. All midlines can stay in for 29 days. The medications that can be infused in, in a peripheral IV can also be infused in a midline. So I'm going to talk about the power glide. Right here is the actual device to place a power glide. Um, here you can also see we have some catheters. So to give you the difference of these power glides, you can see this first one here is just our basic 20 gauge peripheral. It's significantly shorter. Then you can see the second one here is our power glide 8 centimeter and the third one is the 10 centimeter. So why the difference between the two types of catheters? Some patients have um, thinner arms. We can access that vein pretty easily. We'll use an 8 centimeter. If their vein is a little bit deeper, then we'll go for a 10 centimeter. The other difference with the power glide is that on insertion, the, everything's encapsulated. There's a wire within here which is encapsulated. It makes insertion a lot simpler. We just have to use a modified sterile drape, sterile gloves, and sometimes what's required in certain facilities is a mask. So the insertion itself takes anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes if it's a simple insertion. The next device I'm going to show you is the midline, the trimmable. It is, um, as you can see, longer. Um, and the reason we would use a trimmable versus the power glides for example, is in a very obese patient. And the reason we would use this is because their vein depth would be too deep to reach or the catheter wouldn't stay in the vein when infusing the drugs. Um, the difference of the insertion is uh, we would use a maximum sterile barrier from head to toe drape and then um, the nurse would be dressed in a full gown and glove, hat and mask at, at, very similar to how a pick line is placed. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes, which is significantly longer than a power glide. We hope that um, clears up some of the confusion between a trimmable and a power glide. Thanks for joining us. Thanks.